program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Who flew the first key of the moon car? You shall now hear the charges brought against you. First charge, refusing to beg. He also betrayed me as a thief and a pickpocket to my benefactor. What is the prisoner's answer? None, it is the truth. He shall fight a duel with his principal accuser. wonderful world of classics, part two of The Prince and the Pauper, The Merciful. The wonderful world of color is brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company. Kodak, the dependable name for quality. In camera. In film. In pictures you'll treasure now and for years to come. And now Kodak presents Bud Collier. These are days that were made for pictures in brilliant color. Good color pictures have never been easier to take than they are today with the new color films by Kodak. For instance, for your color slides or movies, get Kodak's fast Kodachrome 2 film. No matter where you go or what you do, bring it all home in more true-to-life colors with Kodachrome 2 film. The reds, yellows, greens, and blues will save the beauty of wildflowers. The sparkle of flashing water, all the colorful fun of a happy, carefree day. And because new Kodachrome 2 film is faster and better than ever, you can take movies you would never have attempted before. You don't have to wait for the sun to come out when your movies won't wait. So from now on, when you take movies or color slides, start enjoying the superb quality of new Kodachrome 2 film. Remember, you can depend on the name Kodak. And now your host, Walt Disney. In any library, I'm sure you'd find The Prince and the Pauper cataloged under fiction. And that's as it should be. Marla. Yes. Where'd you put Mark Twain? He's right where you left him last week. <laughs> Over here. Oh. Thanks. Although The Prince and the Pauper is classified as fiction, there's much of the story that isn't fiction at all. For Mark Twain did a tremendous amount of research. He gives a realistic picture of what life was like under the merciful law of the king. Those were the days, you know, when a man could lose an ear for a most trivial offense. For major crimes such as treason, the victim was boiled in oil. And to make sure it was a lesson he wouldn't soon forget, he was lowered into the pot inch by inch, hour by hour. Now you'll see the result of this kind of punishment in the second part of our presentation of The Prince and the Pauper, titled The Merciful Law of the King. Now, to assist those who might have missed last week's show, we'll call on a storyteller to bring you up to date. It so happened in ancient London that two boys were born upon the same day, one a prince and one a pauper, and yet as alike as two peas in a pod. But no one discovered this peculiar happenstance until years later when the pauper boy made his way to the palace at Westminster for a curious look at the Prince of Wales. He may have been a terror to others, but he was always kind and good to me. Why, he was one of the greatest of our kings. He was a wrestler, a swordsman, a huntsman. Lad, he was a giant among men. I notice you uh, favor the new rapier and handle it possibly well. Oh, you do, eh? Most certainly. It's a much more gentlemanly weapon. And before I forget it, 
thank you for your support against that unmanly rebel tonight. Well, I thought it was fun. So you've come at last. This is the last time you'll escape, my boy. And if pounding your bones to pulp will teach you something. One moment, my friend. Now, these are strong words. What is this lad to you? If it's any of your business, he's my son. That's a lie. Two hands. Two ears, too many. Oh, welcome to you, sir. My guest and I are ravenously hungry, so what's best in the kitchen? Roasted sunny cake, sir. Or Canterbury duckling, or grilled ham from York, salmon from the Thames, hedgehogs baked in clay. Have you any good, honest English beef? In abundance, sir. Well, then, good. Let's have a cut from the ribs. Rarely done. Some Cheshire cheese and a quart of Malmsey wine. That's your command, sir. Oh, and make up a hamper for the morning. I understand the Duke of Norfolk is being executed tomorrow. He must be late with the news, sir. The execution is off. Oh, how's that? It was the first command of the new king. Norfolk pardoned? This will waken my father, the late king, from the dead. Whims of fortune, eh, lad? Send the mail out to my room, will you, please? At least it's better than that rat's nest at Awful Court. Calls himself the king indeed. Well, he certainly hates the part. Hi, I'm William Bendix, and I've got a little secret for you. I wouldn't want this to get around generally, but the truth is, I'm all thumbs. Not long ago, for instance, I was trying to fix a faucet. I got out my trusty wrench. And what happened? Well, things got a bit out of hand. And even hobbies. I once started to fiddle around with a chemistry set. <laughs> and here again. But now I've found something even I can do. Even I can take swell pictures with this brownie star my camera. You just aim, press the button. You get terrific snapshots and slides. Flash pictures, too. Just look at this one I took. How about that, huh? Oh, sorry. But believe me, if I can take good snapshots, anyone can. Why not try it yourself? See the Starmite camera this week. It costs less than $12. And remember, you can depend on the name Kodak. May God be with you this day. Good day, Your Majesty. You slept well? Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Your Majesty. by this way a few moments ago. One young lad this height. Oh, yes, they were joined by a surly red-haired brute. Dragged him off down the Rochester Road. I said to this fellow, what are you doing? Bezum, anybody want a bezum? Fine, pushy. Tonight, Kodak invites you to star your family in movies. Now's the time. Star your family in movies that day. Tonight, Kodak presents the brand new Kodak 8 movie camera. The camera that invites you to make this the year to get started with movies. The Kodak 8 is priced so low, every family can afford one. Yet it's built so well, you'll get superb movies in beautiful color. 
The lens is sharp and clear and never needs focusing. The Kodak 8's an easy camera to use. And just wait till you see your good time in movies. Now's the time. Star your family in movies to save the farm. See the Kodak 8 movie camera this week. It costs less than $35 or as little as $4 down at most dealers. And remember, you can depend on the name Kodak. It means quality the world over. The king, Henry VIII, had attempted to discourage crime by devising swift and terrifying punishment. And the death penalty was exacted for more than 200 major and minor crimes. The result was that criminals often banded together in isolated hiding places far from London, uniting their efforts under a powerful leader or ruffler. with his benefactor, the young king could afford but a brief moment of triumph, for he knew that time was running out, and somehow, against almost incredible odds, he must return to London and claim his rightful place upon the throne of England. The havoc caused by hurricanes can often be averted by early warnings. And that is one of the objectives of the new Tyros 5 weather satellite just launched and now in orbit, gathering information about the birth and growth of hurricanes. Designed and built by RCA for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Tyros 5 is the fifth successful satellite built to observe global weather patterns. RCA equipment televised these pictures of hurricanes, for example, which were transmitted back to NASA ground stations equipped by RCA. The U.S. Weather Bureau now sends this vital information to most nations of the world. Tyros is another example of the RCA electronic leadership which is pacing our country's flight into space and the future. RCA, the most trusted name in electronics. A surprising climax which only Mark Twain could devise is one of the highlights of our concluding adventure of the Prince and the Pauper. It is titled, Long Live the Rightful King. What justice is this? If the tax collector has escaped unharmed, it stands to reason that the woman is guiltless of witchcraft. Pardon her. To invoke the devil is heresy. For that this woman must burn, so that her soul may be made pure by the flame. Shame on you! Be off to your closet with you, and there pray to God to remove that stone from your breast and change it for a human heart. Be off! Are you deaf? The king commands! Young pauper Tom Canty performs his masquerade well, and all in the palace believe him to be the real king except one. Look, I give you one last warning. That boy there crowning's an imposter. Luckily for you, I take the view your mind's deranged. Otherwise, I'd have you hanged, drawn, and quartered for treason. Stop! I forbid you to set the crown upon that imposter's head. I am the king. Then, the courts of England find that they are left to solve the perplexing puzzle, who is the rightful king? This is a most dangerous situation. It could divide the country and endanger the succession. Wait! I have the answer. Be right here for a surprising climax when the two young adventurers unlock the mirthful mystery of the Prince and the Pauper next week on Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. Enjoy the picture performance you used to expect only from consoles. It's yours with the pick of the portables. RCA Victor New Vista TV. RCA Victor portables feature power-boosted New Vista chassis, engineered to give you clearer, steadier pictures 
and unsurpassed reception from many hard-to-get stations. You can also get RCA Victor Portable TV with remote control. The Wireless Wizard full-function remote changes channels, turns volume up or down, even turns the picture and all current completely off. As for prices, they start at $139.95. Get RCA Victor New Vista TV, the pick of the portables. See a demonstration at your RCA Victor dealers this week. RCA, the most trusted name in television. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color has been brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company for Kodak dealers everywhere. If you're planning a trip, don't forget to buy Kodak film and Kodak prepaid processing mailers at your dealers. Kodak will process your Kodachrome slides or movies and mail them to your home ready to enjoy. And remember, you can depend on the name Kodak. McMurray in Walt Disney's new motion picture, Bon Voyage. He's a blast on the boat. He's a bon vivant on the boulevard. He's lost in the sewers of Paris. He's a smash in high society. See funny man Fred McMurray and Jane Wyman in Walt Disney's Bon Voyage in a theater near you.